Hey, we have another integral here today from MIT 2014, problem seven. This is the integral from zero to two pi of the absolute value one plus two sine x dx. Okay, so this would be a pretty easy integral if it was just one plus two sine x. Only trouble is this absolute value. The way we wanna handle absolute value in an integral is it'd be nice if we could break this integral up if we knew, if we know this is positive, wherever this is positive, we can remove the absolute value. And wherever this part, inside part here is negative, we could just add a negative in front and that'll reverse the sign. So we can just graph this, but I think what I wanna do is, let's see where this thing is gonna be zero, because that's gonna tell us where we wanna break up our integral and where this, where the change in sign might occur. So I can just subtract the minus one from both sides and we're gonna have two sine x equals minus one. And then dividing by two, we have sine x equals minus a half. So essentially what we wanna know is between zero and two pi, where is sine minus a half? I think what we'll do is just let's look at the unit circle real quick. Okay, so just looking at my rough attempt at a circle, we know that sine is gonna be positive above the uh, x-axis. At pi over six, we're gonna have, at this point, sine of x is one half, and the same thing with five pi over six. But we want minus a half, so that's gonna happen over here, and this is gonna be at seven pi over six, and this other value over here is gonna be 11 pi over six. So at these, at these two points, this is where sine of x is gonna be minus a half. So then from zero to two pi is gonna be this whole circle, right? This, this, is, this zero point is also two pi. This whole region here is gonna be positive to seven pi over six then. So this all in that region is gonna be positive. This whole region on the bottom here is gonna be negative. And then we're gonna have a little positive region right there. So let's see what happens when we break this up. We're gonna to have to evaluate first from zero to seven pi over six and we can remove the absolute value here because that area is positive. Then the next region is negative, so I'm just gonna take a negative up front, and that's gonna be from seven pi over six to 11 pi over six. Notice again, I've removed the absolute value, but we have this negative sign I put out front. And then our last region is just gonna be this little slice from 11 pi over six to two pi. That's just like this little region in here where it's gonna be positive, so we'll remove the absolute value sign. And so the nice thing here is even though we have broken up into three integrals, all three integrals are exactly the same. So we only have to integrate once and just use that answer repeatedly. Okay, and next we just wanna integrate this thing. So we'll integrate one, we're gonna have an x. Integrating two sine x is just gonna be a minus two cos x. And actually what I found was the most tricky part of this whole integral was just evaluating these bounds without making a mistake. So let me do this carefully. Okay, and you can see we have like a big mess on our hands here. It's just a matter of plugging everything in. The only kind of thing to know is at seven pi over six, cosine of x is gonna be minus square root of three over two. At 11 pi over six, cosine of x is square root of three over two. And then everything else is just repeating it and simplifying everything. Okay, I'm trying to squeeze in this whole big mess. So next what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna look at my pi over six terms. We're gonna to total those up. I can write two pi, two pi as 12 pi over six. And so that's gonna give me four pi over six or two pi over three. Then we're gonna have a two cancel with a minus two. Okay, and just adding up all of our square root of three terms, we have one, two, three, four, four square root of three. And that's gonna be our solution. Two, two pi over three plus four square root of three. Anyway, that's MIT 2014, problem seven. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.